My name is Colby Reynolds. Uh, I graduated from Florence as of both of my children. The recent acts of plagiarism committed by our superintendent is my reason for speaking tonight. I cannot think of a more serious act of superintendent of a school could commit. I thought the Title IX issues hanging, on, hanging over the school's head for the past four years was disgraceful. Now two acts of plagiarism committed by our own superintendent. What's even more disturbing to me is the way the issue was addressed by this board. No public notice of the meeting, nothing on the agenda, only one act of plagiarism being addressed. A reprimand of apologizing to the author of only one of the articles and a correction in the Falcon View. I've heard members of this board remind the community time and time again that we need to send a positive message to the children and community. These acts of plagiarism and the way the board has dealt with this could not have sent a worse <coughs> message and example to the children. How could you ever discipline a child for lying or cheating after this incident? Where is the public apology from our superintendent to the children and community? I used to be proud to have graduated from Florence. I cannot say that anymore. If my two children still attended this school, I would remove them immediately and send them elsewhere. Watching the way this board addressed this problem was shameful and embarrassing to say the least. Florence Carlton School is now the laughing stock of this entire state. And you should ask yourself as board members, how much of that are you responsible for? I will continue to pray for the children in this community. Because after this, I have lost all confidence in this board and superintendent. I will simply put my faith in God to sort this whole thing out. Randy Bolton, who is now a senior in this school and uh, graduating senior. And I also have a teacher that I live with who teaches in this school. So I have a number of really important informants at my house. Uh, and the first thing that I really want to talk about, uh, in light of all of these important public issues that have come up, is how proud I am of our teachers, especially our teachers who are preparing our seniors. I have firsthand witnessed the uh, tooth and nail preparation that they are giving them to go out into the world. Uh, the government teacher, the chemistry and biology teachers, and that English staff that you have, I would pit, and I'm an old English teacher myself from high school and drama, and I would pit your English department uh, against anyone in the country, and I mean the entire country. They are doing a remarkable job preparing all of our students, and especially our seniors. <coughs> Uh, all of those teachers who are working with those seniors. These students are going to go out into the world and make a huge difference from what I've been seeing these teachers uh, push them toward. These same teachers are heart sick. And, and I mean on a deeply personal, professional, intellectual, heartfelt level. They are heart sick <coughs> and confused at these issues of, these public issues of plagiarism that are swirling around them and their students. And I really think they need to hear from their top leader about these public issues. They are hungry to hear from their superintendent. And <clears throat> there's another group who are maybe not as heartsick, 
but I'm beginning to understand uh, that the students, and especially the upper level students, are totally confused and some of them, like some of the teachers, I might add, in their confusion, are not understanding that this issue is really to be dealt with. They are saying things like, well, what's, what's the difference? Everybody plagiarizes sometime in their career. Uh, I'm here to tell you that I've been teaching college students and high school students for over 45 years, and I have taught over 6,000 students in my years, and I haven't plagiarized yet. <laughs> and part of my deep, heartfelt concern for the teachers and for the students is this discrepancy of turning the other cheek and not understanding what the gravity of the offense really is. And it will cost them their degrees and their jobs if they don't understand that you can be fired for plagiarizing. I could keep a graduate degree from my students if they plagiarized on a final project. They would not receive the final graduate degree that they had invested thousands and thousands of dollars to earn. Thank you. Thank you both. Uh, uh, I'd oh. like to say something. Okay. Um, my name is Alan Lyles, and I uh, so guess my wife's better judgment here. She's pleased with me not to say something. I sit here. Whether this plagiarism is a, a firing offense or not, I don't know. But I do know this. It's a sacred trust that we as parents have instilled or entrusted you, the board, and the superintendent to guide our children. I don't see how the superintendent can continue. He will always be known and always have this attached to him, no matter what he does here. I don't know how or what the board did to levy this decision in thinking that a person in a leadership position could actually continue and function in this capacity ongoing no matter what he does he will always have this over his head and you will be always the board that allowed it to happen I, I, I don't know what else to say I just wanted to say that because I think that's an important thing to consider and if you're going to come out of this you need to address exactly those questions what you're going to do to resolve this situation and how we're going to move this school forward. And I, I, I encourage you to have as much transparency and clarity in this issue as you can. Because there are plenty of parents that have given up. They're not even here. I'm surprised, quite frankly, at the lack of attendance. Um, I haven't given up. I'm just looking for, if this is your decision and this is what you're doing, what's the clarity, what's the plan, and how are you going to move this school district forward? Because I don't see it happening. The way business as usual won't work anymore. And I implore you to quickly uh, draft a communication plan and an action plan on how to lead us as a community out of this mess that we're in right now. Thank you.